We kind to Mama Kuko, Agbona Supe, Supe, Agbona Supe. <laughs> hey guys, this is Ify, and welcome back to my kitchen. Today, I'm showing you how to make an updated Ogbono soup recipe. Why am I calling it updated? That's because I already have one on my page. So this one is totally different, okay? To make this recipe, you need the following ingredients, which I'll show you in a second, and we can start. To make this recipe, you need the following ingredients. Cameroon pepper, some seasoning powder, some uziza seed, which has been blended already, you need some crayfish, some pepper. This is Scott Bonnet pepper, which has been blended together. We're going to use some oha leaves. This is my meat stock. We need ogbono. My ogbono has been blended already, as you can see here. We need some palm oil and my beef or meat, any kind of protein you want, which has been cooked already. And here I've got my pomo, which is cow skin. I've got some dry fish as well as some stock fish and I've got some salt. Very few ingredients, so let's cook. Like I said earlier, we're going to be making use of some oha leaves. Now this is what oha looks like. Always make sure you get the really soft one because the softer the oha leaves is, that means it is fresh, okay? So always feel it. So when you feel it, very, very smooth. In fact, see how easy it comes off, just like that. So it's supposed to be that soft, okay? So I'm going to show you how to treat oha leaves, okay? It is believed that you do not slice oha leaves with a knife or else your soup will turn black. So what you do is to pick the oha leaves gently from the stem, okay? Just pluck it gently. It is so soft, it comes off really easily. So you're just going to pluck it like this. So I'm just going to pick the rest and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so I'm done picking it. I'm leaving this one behind because they're kind of like hard. And you don't want very hard or hard leaves in your soup. So I'm done with the very soft ones. Remember what I said, you do not use a knife to cut or hard leaves because it is believed it will turn black. So this is what you do. You just take your leaves and then using your fingers, just tear it apart. Very easy. So you just tear it into two or three. Depends on how chunky you like your vegetables. So I'm done shredding my oha leaves. And as you can see, they're not too small. They're not too big. This is how you want to treat it, okay? So I'm just going to give it a good rinse and it's ready to be used. So the first thing you want to do is to put in your meat. My meat has been cooked already. So if you haven't cooked your meat, it's fine. Cook it. Once you get to this level, just follow through like I'm doing, okay? So you're going to add in your meat stock. Now this meat stock is definitely not enough to cook my soup. I'm going to add some more water. But if you have more meat stock, by all means, add it, okay? So, this is fine. So you're also going to go ahead to put in your fish and your stock fish, which has also been pre-cooked. I'm using some pomo as well, which I explained to you. And yeah, so this is everything. This is going to be a very delicious pot of ogbono soup, okay? So I'm just going to cover this and allow it to warm up, come to rolling boil and we'll continue. Mmm, this has come to exactly the stage or <laughs> how I want it to be really. You know, it's nice and bubbling up. So I'm going to add my peppers. Guys, this pepper is yellow and red cut burner peppers. It is hot but delicious. So if you can please 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 use yellow scotch bonnet peppers which you know as yellow pepper is really really so good i'm also going to be adding some uziza powder now uziza powder is also hot so you want to be careful okay and because i like pepper you all know that right 
I'm going to add a little Cameroon pepper for more heat and for the flavor. But I'm not going to go crazy on this one. Just a little, okay? I'm giving everything a good mix. Please, please, please put pepper according to your taste level or to your tolerance, heat tolerance level. No, follow me. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to give this a quick taste to see if everything is working well. Mm. Ah, pepe oh, it's perfect. <laughs> so I'm going to add some seasoning powder and a little crayfish. I'm going to reserve the rest. You see how I'm going to use it. And of course, some palm oil. So what we're doing is creating our soup base, okay? I'm going to give it a good mix. It smells so good, it tastes so good. You know the soup is going to be delicious. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Lovely. So guys, I have my ogbono here in powder form, all right? Um, if you put your ogbono straight into your soup, the chances that it could get lumpy is very high. So what I like to do is to add some palm oil. This will dissolve it and the chances of it becoming lumpy in the soup is a whole lot less. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a little more. The quantity of oil you put in your soup you have to reduce it to make allowance for the one that you're going to add here. So at the end of the day, you do not add too much oil in your soup, all right? You're just going to make sure it is nice and smooth. Note that you can also use warm oil for this not too hot, okay? Oil, it will prevent it from drawing or it will not make it draw as much as it should all right so this is where i want it to be it is perfect now i'm gonna add it to my soup this whole place smells amazing okay so now i'm gonna add in my ogbono okay and give this a good mix So now that this is in here, and of course, I always like to start with little water first in your ogbono. If you feel like it's too thick, then you can always, you know, add some more water to dilute it. Now you can see that this is thickening up really quickly. I'm going to add some water. And it's important that you add warm water so that it does not drop the temperature of your soup, okay? So you give us a good mix. And it's better you add water in bits, all right? Don't add a lot so it does not come out too liquidy or soupy. You guys get what I mean? So yeah, this is looking good. I love the texture or the consistency. So I'm just gonna leave this to cook for about 15 minutes while stirring occasionally, all right? Now I'm not gonna cover the pots at this point. Remember to stir occasionally. And I like to do this part on medium to low heat. Don't be in a hurry when cooking your ogbono or even most things, okay? Just cook with love and patience, all right? So remember, stir occasionally and leave it to continue to cook. Wow, this is looking good. This has been cooking for about 15 minutes now fantastic as you can see i'm super excited about this one now i'm going to add my remaining crayfish remember i told you that you see how i'm going to use it okay so i'm adding it now and i'm adding my oha leaves this is ogbono soup with a difference i don't know if you guys know that song we kind to mama kuko, ogbono supe, supe, ogbono supe. <laughs> so that was a childhood song. I don't know how many of you know that song. If you do, let me know in the comment section, okay? I think I'll add a little more or high leaves. I don't want to add too much. And 
Guys, this is done. Oha does not need a long time to cook. And I'm turning off my heat. This is all done.